Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we will see two important properties file which are present inside the installation directory of the Informatica MDM. So if you notice inside the Informatica MDM, there are two major folders. One is cleans and second is server. Resource kit and zookeeper are uh, zookeeper is for the MDM 10 and resource kit if you are using the safe APIs. So let's go over the the most important two properties reside inside the cleans and the hub server. So we will see the first clean server properties. So go to the cleans, then the resources, the property name is CMX server. So in today's session we will see important aspects and important properties uh, important properties available inside the CMA cleans or properties file the first property is nothing but what is the location of this clean server so what is the clean uh, temporary location for the clean server so we can customize this we can configure the other properties for this temp file temp proper temp file location then we have the database layer cleans working files the execution folder the local because my local installation is there so that is the local installation directory uh, home so this is the home location where the clean server is installed what is the app server type it is a jboss we can have the tomcat web sphere or the web logic version of the app server so i'm using the jboss 7 so that is the version 7 it is we are, we are able to see Default setting port like 8880 for the web sphere. It, this is these the below properties are related to web sphere application. So if you are using web sphere, then the default port for the uh, soap connector port is 8880. You can change in, in this property. Then you have the if you are if you are using the security feature of the web service, you can enable that. The next property is if the default management port uh, for the JBoss is 9999. We can change that default port in this location. This is used for the management purpose, managing the various services of the JBoss. More match properties, match process related properties here. The CMX server match server encoding, this is default is zero. The next property is limit memory usage by managing number of records per match ranges mode. So if you go to the MDM console and you can find the match range. So match range can be configured in this properties file. CMX server match maximum record per ranger node. The by default value is 3000. We can increase this value as well. Cleans related properties. If you are going to use address doctor, you have to configure the config file for the address, then parameter file and the connector type. If you are using instead of address doctor, if you are using Trillium for the data cleansing, you can configure the file 1, file 2 and file 3. If you are using cleansing director 11 plus, uh, 11 plus, then the properties are the below. Like if you see the Trillium directory is like here and Trillium directory 11. So as per Trillium 1 which you are using. Group 1 software enterprise server properties. You can you can configure the group 1 enterprise server properties file location here. The group 1 software CDQ location is the by default is location is this. But if you are using some other location you can change that. First login direct properties. If you are using the login direct, you can mention the path here. Now the smart search related properties. There is uh, the MDM 10 comes with the smart search, and it uh, we have to configure the smart search related properties like this. CMX smart search enable equal to true. Search dot provisioning dot max shred equal to two. If you are using Zookeeper, Zookeeper dot tick time equal to thirty thousand. You can increase also. A solar console we will get with this uh, zookeeper so if you configure the solar allow admin console equal to true you can see the admin console for the solar to see the how the jmm is working so these are the properties available inside the cmx cleans dot properties file of course as per your business need you can have the other properties which we can modify this file and update 
the second properties file reside inside the hub server you can again go in the, the resources section and open this cmx server dot properties the clean server name is cmx clean dot properties and hub server is cmx server dot properties now there are various properties available as per your application server for the web sphere the default application server port is 4447 management for for the jboss is 9999 we already see this property in cmx clean dot properties file app server naming protocol name remote if you are using connector the port we, you can configure by default is 8880 which we already seen in the cms clean dot properties if you are enable the security you can configure this if you want to customize the location from the sas client dot properties of course you can configure by uh, uncommenting this uh, log, uh, properties file setting for the initial heap size now if you are going to change the if you want to change the heap size for the hub server this is the location where you can change uh, the heap size and the uh, the initial heap size and the maximum heap size by default these are the values the initial heap size is 120 m and the maximum heap size is 512 m Interval slipping between the pooling all databases means if you are using pooling all databases for the write log So we have the 10 seconds. So this is the time in the seconds by default is 10 you can increase if you mention zero value for this property then the uh, Write like time interval will be this this property will be disabled acting acting as a disable now suppose in the IDD if you are going to use the bulk data upload then you have to enable this property in the cmx server dot property the name of property is cmx dot idd dot data import enable equal to true these are the by default values uh, it is recommended to do not edit these values the database cleans execution is server the working file location what are the given the location lo uh, working file is local sam related properties cmx server sam cache resource refresh interval is phi means every phi uh, interval phi number interval the refresh is going on then we have the refresh interval is one a uh, user profile refresh interval is one tick interval is a 60 uh, thousand cacheable like user profile cacheable is true so yes it is get cache so whenever it's next time login no need to hit the the uh, authentication server user profile expiration is 60,000 user profile lifespan is a 60 it means every 60,000 it will get expired so you have to re-log into that profile setting for the drop down limit so save lookup drop down limit is 100 task setting so those are not tasks available in that those related uh, properties are SIP task digest interval is 0, SIP task assignment interval is 0. Of course, we can change this and maximum assignment is 25. So, if you want to increase this property, you can go ahead and increase. Then, if you are using some mail connectivity, like mail, um, if you want to send the mail from your application, so you can use the SMTP host name, SMTP port. Uh, default authentication as authentication if you're using any authentication for that sender will be this user if you want to send some other uh, email id then you can update this of course you need to use the password username password as per your server requirement then we have the slipping between pulling all server in second we also are already the database related property this is server related properties by default is 30 and the time in second met properties it is the same server met max and sizes like 900 uh, sorry i think 9 million 9 million uh, is the limit pdd traffic compression option if you want to enable that traffic compression you can enable that the next thing we have the c property to remove duplicates from the search query result if you're using c api uh, to search query and if the duplicates records are present in the search result you can remove by enabling this property remove duplicates in the search query result so this will remove the if you are using the search query API from the save it will remove 
the duplicate record in the result. The case incentive view search feature can be disabled by setting this property to the false. So if you mention case insensitive search, make it as false. If you want to case sensitive search, make it as true. Local for the hub server and the hub console, it is English. Cookies secure flags are also available. You can, if you want to make cookies secure, you can enable this. It is if you are going to use only HTTP, you can enable that. Property for batch job processing. So we know there are various batch jobs available in the MDM hub, and there is only one property available for that. The number of threads will be used to distribute block of batch job to the batch server. So CMX server batch threads per job by default is 10 we can increase or decrease the thread as per business requirement block size for the load job so this property is available into the cmx server dot properties and then the um, block size for the load is 250 we can increase to the mil million or more than that block size for recalculate and revalidate job of course as per our business need we can increase this value for the recalculate and revalidate job Properties for auto merge batch job number of threads to use and block size. So if you're using auto merge, how many threads going to you per job? You can increase this value as per your need. Block size for the auto merge, we can increase this value if you need need to. Now the active OS B, B, uh, B, B OS that is related to ID um, task management. If you are the property related to that. ActiveOS Merge Workflow Operation Name Start, ActiveOS Merge Workflow Service Name IDD Merge Task, mm -hmm. and the time uh, wait time for the ActiveOS to create task for the process and return task ID it is ten. So these are the values available for the ActiveOS. The smart search related properties, as like in the CMX cleans, we have several properties for smart search similarly there are some properties you need to configure into the cmx server the first property is cmx smart search dot enable equal to true and the next is 360 that is cmx e360 view dot enable equal to true so you will get the 360 view in the idd so these are the two major properties file available for the informatica mdm and i hope this will definitely help you to understand the uh, the MDM little in more uh, I mean more detail detail so you will get the deep dive in the MDM uh, if you have any question about the Informatica MDM or IDD or the SIF you can mention in the video below thank you for watching the video you can subscribe my channel as well have a nice time